Good evening, guys. Welcome to our reflection on this Wednesday in Holy Week. Our reading this evening is going to be from John's Gospel, from chapter 13. I'm going to be reading from verse 21. After he had said this, Jesus was troubled in spirit and terrified. Very truly, I tell you, one of you is going to betray me. His disciples stared at one another and at a loss to know which one of them he meant. One of them, the disciple whom Jesus loved, was reclining next to him. Simon Peter motioned to the disciple and said to him, Ask him which one he means. And leaning back against Jesus, he asked him, Lord, who is it? Jesus answered, It is the one to whom I will give this piece of bread when I have dipped it in the dish. Then dipping the piece of bread, Jesus gave it to Judas, the son of Simon Iscariot. And as soon as Judas took the bread, Satan entered into him. So Jesus told him, What you are about to do, do quickly. But no one at the meal understood why Jesus said this to him. Since Judas had charge of the money, some thought Jesus was telling him to buy what was needed for the festival, or to give something to the poor. As soon as Jesus had taken the bread, he went out, and it was night. Have you ever been betrayed by someone close to you? Someone that you trusted, someone that you called friend. Betrayal is one of the most painful experiences that we go through in life. Maybe it was a spouse who walked out on you, or maybe even cheated on you. Or maybe it was a parent who walked out on you when you were just a child. When someone we love betrays us, it hurts. It can rip apart our self-confidence, our ability to trust, and leave us feeling empty. Jesus knew a lot about betrayal by close friends. In our reading today, the disciples are gathered together with Jesus in the upper room, in what we know as the Last Supper. And during the meal, Jesus drops this bombshell on them. He says to them, One of you is about to betray me. The disciple whom Jesus loved asked him, Who's going to betray you? Jesus replies, It's the one whom I give this bread to. And then Jesus dips the bread and he gives it to Judas. Judas was Jesus' friend. He spent three years with Jesus. They ate together and laughed together. They talked about life together. And Jesus taught and loved and cared for Judas in the deepest way. Yet Judas, looking out for himself and a few pieces of silver, goes down in history as the man who sold out Jesus and it ended up in a bitter betrayal. Jesus was betrayed. And when we've been betrayed in our lives, it's comforting to know that we have a God who knows what it's like to be betrayed by a close friend. So how should we respond to betrayal? Well, let me share with you three things that have helped me in my own life. Number one, don't blame yourself. You know, when we've been, we've been betrayed, we get angry at ourselves. We, we blame ourselves for trusting that person, even being friends with that person who betrayed us. It's not your fault, so don't blame yourself. You're not a superhuman. You're a person with real feeling and emotions, and you can be hurt. That's part of living among sinners like you and me. Don't blame yourself, but learn from the pain and use it to become a stronger person. Secondly, when you've been betrayed, let it go, let the betrayal go. You know, our first inclination when we've been betrayed is to get revenge, is to get even with that person. You want them to know that you've been hurt, that they lied to you. We want to ruin their lives like they've ruined our lives. How many times do we see people on Facebook that are venting about people that have betrayed them? But revenge has a great potential for further damage. In the Disney movie from Frozen, Elsa abandoned caution and giving up her good girl persona, unleashes her cold fury on the town of Arundel. Her actions negatively not only affected her, but everything and everyone around her. So when you're betrayed, don't think about getting revenge. It only ends with you hurting more and possibly you hurting those around you. You can't control the world from betraying you which you can control your actions to betrayal. And thirdly, when you've been betrayed, 
You've got to learn to trust again. We've all heard the old saying, hurt people hurt other people. When we're betrayed by those we love, we tend to carry their scars of betrayal with us into new friendships or new relationships. We approach everything with caution, trusting slowly, afraid of being hurt again. This makes it really hard to trust people again. You become suspicious and worried about it happening and being betrayed again. But the reality of it is, and the truth is, that not everyone is out there to betray you. And most people don't. In this Holy Week, we remember that Jesus was betrayed. He died but rose again. And you too must rise up from your betrayal and continue to live the life that God has in store for you. So let me pray for you. Heavenly Father, I've been betrayed by someone and I feel angry, sad and devastated. These feelings are consuming my thoughts and I feel miserable. I call upon your love to lift me up and remind me that I'm worthy of being treated with love and honour and respect. Help me not to give in to these feelings of hatred and revenge. I gladly exchange this pain for the freedom and happiness that I deserve and that you created me to have. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen.